All right. We're back on the train for Pick 10 Horror 3, The Reckoning. And we are looking at David Fincher's classic film, Seven. Give me a minute. I just finished the movie. Spill mm. H&T all over my shirt. <sighs> this movie is fantastic. The story centers around two detectives, Mills, played by Brad Pitt, and Somerset, played by Morgan Freeman. Morgan... Er, Somerset has been around for a long time. He's a veteran. He's on the cusp of retirement. But Mills, he's new on the force. He's new, and he's very, you know, um, how do you say that? What's that phrase? He's he's a free spirit. He's He's got a anger issues, you know. They start to investigate these bizarre murders and realize that each of these murders are framed around the seven deadly sins. The first one being gluttony, where the man was forced to eat food until he died, basically. And we have uh, greed, which I don't get. It's the only one I don't understand. Like, so from what I gathered, like, they forced, like, he was an attorney, a lawyer, and he was forced to cut a pound of flesh from his body, and that's greed? Maybe because he was a lawyer, that means he's greed? I don't, I don't know. After this, we get sloth, where a man was tied to a bed and forced to just lay there. For an entire year. So he had to be giving him liquid so he could survive for an entire year. Because you, you won't survive, you know, otherwise. But for an entire year, this guy, we find out his name is John Doe, I guess. And he's still alive, by the way. Dr. Cox finds him still alive. Next, we have Lust, where a prostitute was... Uh, forced to be, uh, to have sex with someone who had a bladed strap on, on, and we get a cameo from Michael Massey here, may he rest in peace, as the guy who owns the building, I think, uh, but yeah, it's really gruesome, uh, we have Pride, a woman whose face is mangled, and says that she can call for help or commit suicide. And she decides to commit suicide because if she calls for help, she will have to have the scars on her face and all that stuff. And she's too prideful. This is the only one where I'm like, bitch, just keep plastic surgery. Every other woman in the entire country does it, mostly. I mean, just get plastic surgery. This is the one where I'm, I'm just, I, I'm like, okay, the other ones kind of make sense, but this one, she could have just gotten plastic surgery, you know, and wear like a veil or something until it got done. I, I don't know. Maybe she didn't have that much money. I don't know, but it just doesn't make sense to me. So, is that five, right? Right? We have gluttony, greed, uh, sloth. Lust and pride. This these the last two. Before I get to the last two, we gotta talk about character building in this film. It's fantastic. You can tell there's two different sides being shown here. The brash and angry side that Mills has, and the more laid back, take your time, go through stuff of uh Somerset. Somerset even goes to a freaking live race in 1995, by the way, and looks up stuff, whereas Mills wouldn't do that. We see that Mills has a wife, played by Gwyneth Paltrow. You know, the relationship is stable. But you, we, we find out through some dialogue that while, you know, Somerset has been at the same job for 30 years and is now planning retirement, Mills and his wife were looking at apartments for only five minutes at a time, which means he's a little less, you know, he doesn't have the patience. Like, 
uh, Somerset. And that plays into the finale very well when it comes to Mills. And there's a key scene where he's yelling at a photographer and that sets up the finale, in my belief. That's where John Doe decides this is the guy I'm going to use for my finale. So, while trying to contemplate what the next two murders are going to be, the guys are walking up steps when someone yells out, Detective! In walks Kevin Spacey, reveals himself to be John Doe, and says that, you know, he's giving himself up, he's covered in blood. Now, why they didn't test the blood to find out whose blood it was, because I'm assuming it was Tracy's blood. The wife's blood, because we find out later. I don't know why they didn't get that tested, but I don't know. Uh, maybe it was his own blood from cutting his finger tips off. He does that, so he d they don't get, you know. But uh, they could still do the swab, put it in the machine, get the DNA sample, so. Or test his freaking blood. I mean, come on. There's other ways to test his blood. To, t to get his identity. DNA swab. Test the blood. Just saying. But I'm not holding anything. Anything negative I say is really a nitpick. Because this movie's fantastic. And the finale proves that. He convinces Mills and Somerset to drive out to this middle of nowhere. Convincing them that's where the murders are going to take place. That's ironic. Did you hear the, the sirens? That's ironic. Anyway, uh, so he gets out there, and this is where he starts to confess what has happened. There's a delivery made, a box that Somerset has, like, I don't know, maybe a yard away from them. He opens the box, looks inside, and is horrified at what he sees. He starts yelling at Mills. Put down your put down your gun. Put down your gun. Cause he knows. And this is where he confesses. John Doe confesses. He goes. I'm jealous of your life. I tried to play husband. It didn't work. He is envy. The sick sin number six. And he and he confesses to murdering Mills' wife, which is what's in her head is in the box. And this means that Mills will have to shoot. He's forcing Mills to shoot him to become Wrath. The final two uh, deaths. Tracy was killed because of envy. John Doe was killed because of uh, Wrath. And now, you, gotta, you gotta think about this. This movie came out within months of The Usable Suspect, which also revealed that Kevin Spacey was the villain. So, you know, and Kevin Spacey's performance in this, barring anything he's done in his personal life within the last several years, notwithstanding, this was a fantastic performance. I always say with certain things, you have to separate the artist f from the film in which the characters they portray in the film. Whatever Kevin Spacey did in real life, that's terrible. On the screen, it's fantastic. All the performances, Brad Pitt, Morgan Freeman, even Gwyneth Paltrow to an extent, all very fantastic. And it's just, you know, watching the scene, the emotions going through Brad Pitt's face is fantastic. When John Doe reveals to him that his wife was pregnant. The look on his face tells you, well, that's it. It's over. You're dead, motherfucker. You're dead. And then the look on uh, John Doe's face when he realizes that Mills didn't know she was pregnant and that he realizes he's won. He has won this. And he does. He shoots him several times. And... Mills is going to go to jail for it. And he wins. It's a dark ending, but it's also the perfect ending to a film like this. When this came out, critics 
bashed it for being too gruesome and too gory, and that's fantastic for me. I love it. Uh, it's it's a great film, guys. I like I said, anything negative I've said negative I've said in this is a nitpick. This movie is fantastic. David Fincher has a style, and this proves it. Like he he did Alien Three, but that was torn apart, torn away from him. This. This is his masterpiece, in my opinion, and it's going to the moon because it's a 10 out of 10 for me. A little side note before I go here, before I make my, my next pick. Uh, I have these two dice sitting on the little thing that my TV sits on, right? That Once in a while, I'll get up and I'll roll just for shits and giggles. Dur during this, uh, the final scene... Right when he shoots John Doe, like just after he shoots John Doe, I rolled the dice just thinking, eh, you know what I rolled? I rolled a fucking seven. I, I damn near, you don't understand, I damn near pissed myself. I, I was like, what? <laughs> I did not expect that. I was like, that. That's fucking seven. That's a seven. That luckiest roll in the world, I tell you. But here we go. Nice pick. Ah. Blu-ray, right? Yeah, okay. And we got Quiet Place. Um. Yeah, okay. So... So I gave this a 10. I gotta find my, my little book thing here. It's right here. Uh, so what are your thoughts on 7? Do you think it's a masterpiece? I do. Make sure you uh, let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I've been Scotty, and I'll see you in the next one.